killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. What did he say? He got to die with the sword. The vengeance is of the Lord. He's going to get his judgment. Why would the white man leave his death and destruction in the Bible? Right. Why? You know who the white man is? The real white man? You know who he is? Go to Genesis. Let's get history on him. Let's get a little bit of history on the white man that we so-called white. His up, shirt man. is white. What's up, brother? Up, His brother. shirt is white. When you, you, you know, you, you, uh, you from here? Where you from? You say what? I can't hear you. Here Iowa. Iowa? Okay, okay. You familiar with the South, right? What do they call the white people in the South? Come on, y'all help me out. What they call them? Rednecks. You said what? Rednecks. Rednecks. Yeah. So they not white. They red. But well, let's see the red man in the Bible. Yeah. Genesis chapter 25 and verse 21. So we're going to get a little history on this white man that you think broke the Bible. And what God has said about this white man. Watch this. Come on. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. She said, these kids struggling in her. Why, is, if she was blessed to have kids, why is she having this pain in her? Why is this going on? Watch this. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. Two nations are in thy womb. What does that mean? What does that mean, sisters? What is that saying? Two yeah. nations in thy womb. So if you got twins, right? It's saying it's two separate people in your stomach right now. Just because they may come out look, coming out looking alike, that don't mean nothing. God said they are two different nations right here. We're going to see, brother. Stick with me. Come on. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people, two different manner of people are in her womb. Right. So let's see who these two people are. Come on. Shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people. Think about this. If the white man is going to leave this in the Bible, he's out of his mind. Because this is showing you from the beginning it was ordained for this first person to come out to serve the younger. Meaning the younger one was going to be ordained to rule over this person. Yeah. Let's see who this first person is. Come on. And the elder shall serve the younger. And the elder, which is the first twin that comes out, right? Shall serve the younger. Come on. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, uh -huh. behold, there were twins in her womb. Three. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. Come on now, brother. You got to explain. Who is that? Who is that talking about? Esau. Who is Esau? Though? Who is that person today? The white man. The, the white man. The person we love so much. Becky, Billy, my boss. No, God said that red man was ordained to serve the younger. That's right. That means they ain't identical. They're fraternal twins. They don't look alike. They in the same stomach. Hold on, sister. Give me one second. Watch this. Come on. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. That's, that's what we call the red. That's the white people today. And they pretty hairy, right? right. They hairy people. Y'all, they hairy at their brother. You seen them, they got all their hair on their arms, on their back. They look like they got sweaters on when they take off their shirt. That's how hairy they are. But watch this, come on. And they called his name Esau. His name, his biblical name, this man right here, you see? Yo, yo, beloved Jesus, or the people beloved Jesus in the church, this man is Esau. The devil the Bible speaks of. Watch this, come on. Yes. And after that came his brother out. And his brother came out. Hold on, come on. And his hand took hold of Esau's hill. And his name was called Jacob. Uh -huh. And Isaac was three score years old. Hey, hold on, we skipped something. Why didn't it describe Jacob? No. Explain that to me. Why didn't it? Say what? Because he was what? He was black. He looked like everybody else. They had a distinction of this red man came out red and heavy. It was like, hold on, this is different on earth. This is different. Watch this, Genesis. Jesus, chapter 2 and verse 7. This is the first man that was ever created. And everybody that came out to him was the same image. Except until we get to Esau. But watch this. And the Lord formed, and the Lord God formed men of the dust of the ground. Now look down at the ground, right? It's light, right? It's light dust. The deeper you dig, the what? The 
the darker it gets. Come on, you with me? The deeper you dig, the darker it gets. So they're saying the first man is a black man according to the Bible. So now we get to Esau, the Romans, who we think wrote this book. But God said, this way, man, read. It's Esau, what? Right? Come on. And his name is called Esau. Uh -huh. And after that came his brother out. So Esau was his name, Romans 13. Let's get it. Let's put the nail in the coffin right here. 9, nine and 13, excuse me. Watch, let me show you. Watch this, because he said that red man, who is who? Who's that red man? Think about this. We're looking at all these images right here. Do they look white? Do they even look white? No, that's red. Their blood is, they lack melanin. Their blood is showing forth. God said this red man was, was going to serve Jacob, which is you. Guess what God said about this red man? Read it. Romans 9 and verse 12. And it was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. There you go again. Now Paul is bringing up that history of the, the, of the Old Testament, right? And what is Paul saying? He said, it was ordained that the elder shall serve the younger. Come on. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. Jacob have I loved. We read about this in Malachi. It says, Jacob have I loved, which is that second child, right? That second child. Come on. But Esau, the elder, have I hated. Wait a minute, brother. So if the white man wrote this book, the red man, why would he leave it in here that God hates him? Think about it. God said he hate him. God said he gonna kill him. God said he's gonna put him in captivity. So the white man didn't write this book. What we've been deceived on, brother, is accepting everything, right? We, we click Google, we Google everything. The white man taught us in the school system, so all of a sudden we just love lies. We just love lies. But we're here to tell you today, brother, this book, this Bible is written by prophets that were ordained by God. Read it again in Peter's. Let's read it one more time. First Peter's. We're gonna read it again. Just bring it all full circle. Watch this, come on. First Peter's. Watch, we're going to show you right here. Watch this. Read. Second Peter chapter 1 and 20. Knowing this verse, that no prophecy of the scriptures, no prophecy of the Bible, none of this is what? Is of any private interpretation. None of this is of any private interpretation. You think the white man can write the exact way we was going to go into slavery and captivity? You think he could do that? Is he wiser than God? No. It's not possible. It's not. The white man didn't write the book, brother. You understand? It's not possible. Because God said you are better than him. God said you are the chosen. You know that? So you know you're an Israelite? What about you, sister? You know you're an Israelite? You do? How about you? Oh, sister, don't leave. No, 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 no. You know you're an Israelite? You're a little older now. Come on. You know you're an Israelite? You don't. Or you do? You're not sure. Deuteronomy 28. Let's read one point, because we already read it earlier. I want to put it again. I want to bring it out. This image right here. Watch this. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. On, Therefore, thou shalt serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. The Lord was going to send our enemies against us in a want of all things. Sisters, the hat you got on, where you get it from? You got it from Chicago? From what store? From a gas station? From a corner store? A blue dish supply. Who owned it though? Your enemy? Your, your enemy? That's who owned it. I bet you don't say made in black on your shirt. It's not. It's not gonna say made in black. It don't say made in African Americans. It's not gonna say that. It's gonna say made in China. Made in Taiwan. Made in the great USA. But it ain't made from us. All these years we picked cotton. And you mean to tell me we can't even have our own cotton manufacturing companies? Yeah. No. Come on, that don't even make sense. This is how we know we are God's chosen people. Yeah. We have been destroyed so long, yeah. we forget this. Right. This history is in the books. Right. It's still in the news. Yeah. We still, you know the 13th Amendment means you're a slave and you go to jail, right? Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah. Two cents on a, two, two cents, you get paid two cents in jail? Yeah. You are a slave. That's right. Right. But God said, you broke my commandments. Right. 
You black man, you black woman, you broke my laws. So you, my child, I'm gonna punish you. I'm gonna put you through things that you ain't never seen. And this is what he doing. He's trying to make us get right. We're in the land of our captivity for one reason on it, for us to repent and come back to God laws. You understand? So go back to uh, go back to uh, Romans 13 and 11. So bro, this time for you to get all the white stuff out of your mind and do this one thing right here. Read that for me. This is the book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 11. Bring it out. And that, knowing the time, that now is high time. Right now, brother, look at your phone. What time is it right now? Right now. It's 1.44. 1.44 p.m. on the Sabbath. It's now it's time for what? To wake out of sleep. To wake out of sleep. You've been asleep for far too long. Not knowing your nationality. Not knowing your culture. Right. Not knowing the standards you must live by. It's a royal bloodline. Right. You've been distracted, brother. You've been deceived by the white man. It's time for the deception to come out of your brain. That cloak is blinding you. Wake up. You understand? Wake out of that sleep. Come back to that royal priesthood. Read. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Our salvation is near, brother. You don't see COVID-19 is wrapping around the earth. Right, right. How many people died? That's one of the greatest plagues we done heard of, yep. especially in our time, right? Yep. Other than the plagues of Egypt, when they wiped out a whole nation, when they wiped out thousands, millions of people, right? God said he was going to send plagues on this earth, and it's happened. It's a famine coming, brother. You prepared for that? You can't be because the Christian church ain't teaching you. Right. They, they ain't teaching you. Matter of fact, the president ain't even teaching you. Yes, he gonna say a family coming, right. but he ain't teaching you. Brother, it's time for you to wake out of sleep. Yeah. It's time for you to wake. Are you ready? Yeah. You sure? Because yeah. look, our people love a good song. Right. We love it. But it's really time for you to move forward. Read that. Yeah. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 4. Oh, and Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Don't let no man deceive you thinking the white book is the man's, the white man book. Ain't no way this is a white man book. Right. You know how I know? Because I, I saw this. I read the Bible. I saw this. If it's me, I know I'm an Israelite. Right. Now you got to accept it. Right. You got to accept Why Why wouldn't you want to be God's greatest people? Right. Why we got to be low? Why we gotta accept the being at the bottom? Now I'm a Gentile. Come on. Why we gotta accept that? Accept that you God's chosen. Yeah. That you are the best thing He created on earth. Bring it Won't up. you accept it? You know you better. Right. You better than every white person you see. That's Just because they get paid more than you don't mean nothing. Right. Give me Revelation chapter three. Bring Let me up. show you. Yeah. Just because we seem like we on the bottom, that don't mean nothing. According to it's two and nine. Right. Read that. Revelations chapter 2 and verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation. God said he knows your works, your tribulations, the pain you're going through, the hardship you're going through. Read. And poverty. And the poverty you are in. Let's hide verse 5. Well, we get, we get, we, we matter of fact, you probably been on the job longer and you get paid the least. That white man just walked in there. How, how are you training him to be your boss? How's that happening? Your father went through that. Your grandfather went through that. Aren't you tired? Aren't you tired of this? God said he know your works, your tribulations, your poverty. Come on. But thou art rich. But you must be mistaken. Because you think there's a white man book? You don't know that you are rich. You are rich. That bloodline run deep, brother. All the way back to Christ. All the way back to King Solomon. All the way back to Abraham. All the way back to Adam. The first man on earth. God said, what? I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. But you are rich. And those white people you think, watch what the Bible said. This is how you know the white man is not uh, the Bible's chosen. It's, he didn't write the Bible because it is. And I know the blasphemy. You know what blasphemy means, brother? What does it mean? Lies. Right? So God said he know the lies of what? Of who? Of them which say they are Jews. Hold on, hold on. Who's saying they Jews on earth today? Help me out. Who's saying it, brother? Come on. So God just said in the Bible, uh, another thing about a white person, so-called white person, they are Esau, right? He said, I know the lies of them that say they are Jews. We're not standing here saying we Jews. We say we're the Israelites. We just so happen to be the real Jews. 
But we say we the Israelites both. We are God's chosen right. from the tribe of Judah. Come on. Yeah. From the tribe of Judah. That's where Jew come from if you didn't know. That's right. Right? From the tribe of Judah. But God said the ones that call themselves the Jews, Jewish, the what is it, the yarmulkes, that walk around with the raggedy beards, and the curly cues, the little tassels on them, God said they what? But are the synagogue of Satan, they are the devil the Bible speaks of. You probably never heard that before, huh? The Christian church ain't going to teach you. Damn sure the white man ain't going to teach you. All he wants you to do is servant, obey your master. Oh, you want with that. Servant, obey your master. Believe it or not, he's supposed to be obeying you. You remember what uh, uh, Samuel Jackson said, who that nigga on that nine? Really, it was who that damn Edomite on that nine. Why he, do, why he on the horse? So what is it? Give me that. Servants on horses. What does it say? Ecclesiastes, give me that real quick. Let me show you what the Bible says. You think the Bible fairy tale book? This is reality. Everything that's happened in here is happening and it's going to continue to happen. Check it out. It passed and it's going to come to pass. This is real. Watch this. 10 and 7. 10 and 7. Come on. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 7. I have seen servants upon horses. We see servants on horses. It's probably horses with uh with downtown here in Iowa, uh what is this? Uh Cedar Rapids. You probably got men on horses, white men on horses, with their horses walking downtown. Police officers, right? You seen it. I see it where I'm from. We see it where we at where we at, right? Everywhere. Y'all said what? I have seen servants upon horses. You know that wild, wild west. Them servants, brother. Them white men that's on horses are your servants. So who they eat them like? Who are serving on that nine? What are you doing on that nine? Come on. And princes walking as servants upon the earth. And we see princes like you. Brother, pay attention. We see princes like you walking as servants. The world has been flipped upside down. It's time for you to wake out of sleep, brother. Give me first a uh, second. Is that, finish that. That's it? No. Uh, give me a... Uh, First Peter's two in verse nine. Two in verse nine. Come on. This is the big book of First Peter's. Chapter two in verse nine. But ye are a chosen generation. Here we go. We putting the nail on it. You are a chosen generation. Right. What's your name, brother? Joshua. 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 Yes, you are a chosen generation. Yes, Believe it or not, God chose you. Hold that. Go to Jeremiah one. Jeremiah one in verse five. What's this, Joshua? What's your name one more time? Hey, Brett, what's it? Say it again. You know the issue? The white man told you to speak low. You're a black man, brother. Speak with some power. Yeah. Show yourself. Show authority. You know Christ spoke boldly, right? Speak up. What's your name, brother? Bryce. Have strength, brother. you God's chosen. Don't let no man let talk down on you. You are God's chosen. Speak like a man. Right. Stop shaving your beard. That's right. You are king on earth. Right. You are God on earth. You got to know this. Right. Come on. Bring it out, Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 5. And guess what God said about you, Bison, right? Guess what God said about you, Joshua? Listen. Before I formed thee in the belly. Before your daddy had sex with your mama. Bring it out. That's what he said. Before you were thought of. You know what your mama said. Before I thought of you. You know what your daddy said. Watch, this is what God said. Come on, read it again. Before I formed thee in the belly. Come on. I knew thee. He knew you. He ordained you. You were sleeping. Your spirit was sleeping. He said, I'm going to send uh, Bryson back on earth. I'm going to send Joshua back on earth. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.